All right, so the last two days, what we've been working with is we've been starting with this concept of two parallel lines, right? We have a transversal, and we say that since the lines are parallel, these two angles are equal because of either alternate interior, alternate exterior, or corresponding. And then we also have the same side interior, which, you know, based on our supplementary. What we're going to do today is the complete reverse of that. We are going to show that uh, the alternate interior angles are equal, therefore, the two lines must be parallel. Do you guys understand the difference in the logic structure there? Right? So originally what we did is we were given the two lines are parallel, therefore the alternate interior angles are equal. Today we're going to switch that around and say because the alternate interior angles are equal, the lines must therefore be parallel. And that's where this, what you're going to kind of feel like is you're doing the same assignment. That's exactly what this is going to feel like. But it really is just a, a slight tweak in the way that we're looking at the problem. But it really is going to feel like pretty much you're doing the same thing all over again. So we look at our objectives for today. Basically, we're going to determine two lines are parallel by looking at the angles. And then we're going to find the value of the variable that makes the two lines parallel. Basically, what you did yesterday. So here we go. So again, if my two lines are parallel, I know my corresponding angles are congruent. So if my corresponding angles are congruent, then my two lines are parallel. What other angles are congruent? Bailey? Uh, same, same side Same side are not congruent. What are the other types of angles that are congruent with parallel lines? Corresponding. There's two others. You need to look at your notes. Mason? Alternate interior. Very good. Give me another pair. Kayla? Alternate exterior are congruent. <laughs> so when we look at this, we can say that if alternate interior angles are congruent, then my lines must be parallel. If my alternate exterior angles are congruent, then my lines are parallel. Another approach that we do is think I don't have the alternate interior or corresponding or alternate exterior, but instead I have same side. What is true about same side interior angles? Then you can go back and look at your notes. What do we know about same side interior? Yeah, they add up to 180. They are supplementary. So if my same side interior angles are supplementary, again, that goes for exterior as well. So if my consecutive exterior angles are supplementary, then my two lines are parallel. So again, this is just basically going to feel like you're doing it the same way as the last few days. But the difference is if it's the, we have, we're basically doing now, we're doing the converse of what we've been doing before. And that's basically what this slide is really kind of talking about. It's changing the direction. And okay, let me ask you this. All right, and this is basically kind of where we're going with it. If I say that if, I should add in the page here. Let's write that out. If two lines are parallel. then corresponding angles are congruent. Is 
that a true statement? That's definitely true. Okay, now let's write off the converse. What would be the converse of that statement? I don't know. Go back to it. Well, what converse means? Can I? If the corresponding angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. So if my corresponding angles are congruent, Now, is that a true statement? Well, yes, it is. So what this means is when you have a conditional statement and you have a converse statement and both their statements are true, this becomes what we call a biconditional. Biconditionals are sometimes called if and only if. Two-way street. The only way those two lines are going to be parallel is if and only if the corresponding angles are congruent. And that's what basically this slide is really kind of going into details of talking about the biconditional statements. And it becomes an if and only if corresponding angles are congruent. If and only if the lines are parallel. <coughs> Alternate interior angles are congruent. If and only if the lines are parallel. So then that's kind of what a biconditional statement is. It's when you have the converse and the original conditional. If they're both true statements, then we have a biconditional statement. So let's actually get into doing this again. So again, here we go. You guys have already told me. Just to begin, we're going to keep writing this out over and over and just kind of try and nail this in. Two lines are parallel if corresponding angles are Congruent. Two lines are parallel if alternate interior angles are congruent. Two lines are parallel if alternate exterior angles are congruent. And then finally, Two lines are parallel if consecutive interior angles are supplementary. supplementary. 